Toyota, the world's second largest automaker, has announced a groundbreaking investment in Michigan, demonstrating its commitment to advancing electrification. With a planned expenditure of $50 million, Toyota is set to establish a cutting-edge battery lab and research and development center. This strategic move underscores Toyota's determination to navigate the ever-evolving landscape of electric vehicles and solidify its position at the forefront of automotive innovation. By embracing the potential of advanced battery technologies, Toyota is poised to redefine the future of electric mobility, contributing to a greener, more efficient transportation ecosystem that benefits us all. Get ready to witness the unfolding of Toyota's electrification strategy as the North Battery R&B operation paves the way for a new era of sustainable transportation and propels the automotive industry towards a brighter, greener future. If you like what you see, don't forget to like this video, click the subscribe button, and hit that bell to get notified of new videos. Toyota North America announced that it will invest $50 million in a new battery facility at its North American R&D Center, located in York Township, Michigan, west of Detroit. According to a statement released by Toyota, the lab will assess the quality of the batteries used in its EVs against North American standards and create new battery designs for upcoming models. Additionally, upgrades are being made to the Toyota R&D facilities in York Township and the surrounding city of Ann Arbor, Michigan, to allow for complete battery electric vehicle testing. According to the Michigan Economic Development Corp., Toyota will receive a $500,000 state grant and a tax abatement of approximately $1.1 million over 12 years to establish the lab. That was expected to be operational in 2025. Jordan Chobe, Group Vice President of Powertrain at Toyota Motor North America's R&D division, stated that, over time, we do envision the further expansion of the lab's capabilities as technology emerges and new business opportunities arise. Toyota has also announced its commitment to supporting education and community development by providing a generous sum of $10 million to Eastern Michigan University. This contribution will be channeled through a program called Driving Possibilities, which aims to benefit local school districts, such as Lincoln Consolidated and Ypsilanti Community Schools. Through this initiative, Toyota seeks to empower students and create opportunities that will drive positive change within these communities. It's projected over the next 10 years, we're gonna uh, produce 3.5 million new STEM jobs and 2 million of them are projected to go unfilled. So it's really incumbent upon us to make sure that we're developing the next generation of STEM professionals. The statement comes as new data indicates Toyota is still trailing other automakers in new EV registrations in the US, including Tesla, General Motors, Ford, and others. On the other hand, Ford is planning to invest $3.5 billion in a battery plant in Marshall, Michigan, to compete with Chinese EV manufacturers. Jim Farley, the CEO of Ford, stated last month that China, not GM or Toyota, is his company's biggest competitor in the EV market. Chobie said in the release that the new Toyota battery facility will help the company keep up with electrification in North America. In recent years, Toyota has invested more than $8 billion in U.S. manufacturing facilities, mostly to support electrification. In the United States, Toyota and its Lexus brand provide 22 electrified vehicle alternatives. In a statement, Shinichi Yasui, Executive Vice President of Toyota Motor North America R&D, said, By adding these critical evaluation capabilities around automotive batteries, our team is positioned to better serve the needs of our customers including Toyota Battery Manufacturing North Carolina and Toyota Motor Manufacturing Kentucky, the latter of which will soon be assembling the recently announced all-new Griro battery electric SUV. Additionally, Toyota will use locally produced battery components and supplies from its other North American partner suppliers in the new lab. According to Toyota, the lab will also assess EV chargers, access to infrastructure, and power sources. Despite facing criticism from the media regarding its delayed entry into the electric car market, Toyota is now taking significant steps toward embracing electric vehicles. The company has been known for its investment in alternative fuel technologies, such as the Prius Hybrid and the Mirai Hydrogen Fuel Car. While some activists, industry experts, and shareholders have voiced concerns about Toyota lagging behind in EVs, the recent appointment of a new, younger CEO indicated a potential shift towards prioritizing electrification. 
However, the new CEO, Koji Sato, surprised many by affirming Toyota's belief in hydrogen as the best path to carbon neutrality. As a result, despite the change in leadership, Toyota has not altered its strategy on electrification and continues to emphasize hydrogen as a key focus. Toyota sees hydrogen fuel cell technology as offering high energy density and efficiency, with faster charging capabilities compared to traditional internal combustion engines. Now, the last of its move to invest in its battery labs, we are sure that Toyota is not completely abandoning electric vehicles in its new plan. The company acknowledges the importance of EVs and will likely pursue a dual approach, investing in both hydrogen and electric technologies to cater to different market demands and contribute to a more sustainable future. Sato has disclosed that Toyota's primary focus is on developing unique EVs that embody the distinct Toyota brand. Specifically, under the Lexus brand, the company intends to launch its next-generation EVs by 2026, specifically designed for battery electric propulsion. While electric trucks currently on the market, like the GMC Hummer EV SUT, Ford F-150 Lightning, and Bollinger B2, tend to be large in size, even the more adventurous Rivian R1T remains sizable. In contrast, Toyota's upcoming pickup EV appears to be smaller, boasting a sporty aesthetic and a relatively compact bed and cabin. Recently, Toyota made an exciting announcement regarding the upcoming 2024 Tacoma model, as it will introduce a hybrid variant to its lineup. This addition represents a significant milestone for Tacoma. The hybrid Tacoma will showcase Toyota's innovative iForce Max hybrid powertrain, which is touted as the most powerful option ever offered for this model. The hybrid Tacoma will feature a combination of a 2.4-liter engine and a 48-horsepower electric motor, coupled with an 8-speed transmission and a 1.87-kilowatt-hour nickel-metal hydride battery pack. This advanced hybrid system will deliver an impressive power output of 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque, nearly doubling the torque output of the current V6 engine model. The hybrid powertrain will be available across various Tacoma models, including the TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road Limited, TRD Pro, and Trail Hunter. This means that customers will have the opportunity to choose the hybrid option across a range of trim levels, catering to different preferences and needs. Thus far, electric pickup trucks have primarily focused on off-road capabilities. Driven by the popularity of off-roading and the suitability of electric powertrains for such applications, Toyota is expected to follow this trend with its electric pickup truck, as evident from features like chunky off-road tires and the TRD Pro branding. As part of its plan to release 15 electric vehicles by 2025, Toyota's hybrid Tacoma is anticipated to be among the first offerings. While the progress of the powertrain's development remains uncertain, the exterior design indicates it is approaching production readiness, as seen previously with a Tundra model. Toyota aims to streamline the production process and make appealing battery electric vehicles, or BVs, more accessible to a broader customer base. To achieve this, the company will take full responsibility for developing the battery and platform, as well as constructing the vehicles. Toyota recognizes the need for significant changes across all aspects of its business, including manufacturing, sales, and service, with Lexus playing a key role in driving this transformative shift. Additionally, Toyota is expected to establish partnerships with other automakers to collaboratively develop and produce BEVs. This collaborative approach will allow for shared development costs and an accelerated pace of BEV advancement. The transition towards battery electric vehicles marks a momentous transformation for Toyota. While the complete transition may require time, Toyota's unwavering commitment to electrification positions the company to retain its prominent standing in the automotive industry for the foreseeable future. With its $50 million investment in the new battery facility at the North American Research and Development Center in York Township, Michigan, Toyota solidifies its dedication to this shift. This strategic investment underscores Toyota's determination to drive innovation, develop cutting-edge battery technologies, and shape the future of sustainable transportation. By making this significant financial commitment, Toyota is poised to lead the industry in the transition to BEVs, reinforcing its position as a front-runner in the automotive landscape. What do you think the future holds for Toyota as it invests heavily in battery technology and accelerates its transition toward electric vehicles? 
tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.